Hello YouTubers and welcome to our channel. For those of you who have been following the SJ Cam SJ7 Star, we have some great news. Today the great news is that we have a new firmware version. So we have V1.06 firmware. And again, it's for the SJ7 Star. Now here's the change log. Some people we actually uh, sent this firmware to some testers yesterday and people wanted to have the uh, change log so this is this going to be a quick review just showing you the change log and we're also going to talk a little bit about we have a, a, a second version of the firmware so uh, so I remind you guys to like our video also subscribe and let's get started so here is the, the latest uh, change log so it's V1.06 and then uh, we also have V1.05. The last time we did a video, I believe it was V1.04. So let me zoom in a little bit and you can pause your screen. So another uh, bit of good news is that uh, this camera will be releasing within the next week or so. So if you have not pre-ordered, you can go ahead and do so. Okay, so here's the change log and then there's also uh, a second version for the firmware. So this gold unit, it has V1.06A. And so basically this is what will come pre-installed on the SJ7. And then this silver unit, it has uh, version B. And basically version B, it locks in the frame rate, the frame rate uh, like when it's dark. So uh, several people on the forums had been asking us to add an option. So for some reason, we were only able to have two versions. We were not able to integrate or add it to the menu. So just let me show you the firmware version real quick. Okay, so V1.06. And in the future, we'll probably have a ARB just to kind of help you guys distinguish what firmware is on your, uh, mod on your uh, camera. So over the weekend, we'll be shooting some nighttime footage and also comparing the, the gyro, the 1080p. So gyro, it's only supported on 1080p at 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. And that is due to the Amberella chip limitation. It's nothing that we can do. There is nothing that we can do but wait for uh, Amberella to add more support. So let's just show you here this gold version as A. Okay, so basically uh, it says that they are the same version, but they are not. So again, stay tuned. We'll be uploading more footage, comparison footage over the weekend or maybe, maybe on Monday. Okay, and then a third uh, piece of good news is that we will uh, be moving our SD Cam Zone app to the Amazon Cloud. So we'll be on uh, AWS. So Basically, uh, the, the app should be less laggy. So that's something that, you know, again, a, a lot of people have been com uh, commenting on is uh, is, the, is like the lag time in, in on the app. So we'll actually uh, put a download, a firmware download link, and also the and also the uh, the change log uh, blog inside of our YouTube description. If you guys have any questions, if you guys want to see this camera uh, do, uh, do certain things, just please make a request inside of the comment section on our channel. And uh, yeah, so that just about concludes this review. We're going to gear up and maybe even try to get some uh, footage today as the sun is going down. So again, um, just to like, uh, just to make it clear, um, the two different uh, firmware versions, one is for uh, people who do not want, uh, basically, if, if you're shooting in dark um, environments and you don't want the the, uh, the frame rate to drop from 30 frames per second to 15, then you can have to use the version B, which basically locks in the frame rate. rate. So, again, we'll we'll write up a blog and uh, and you guys can uh, email me if you have any questions. All right, guys, that just about wraps up this review. Make sure to like our video, subscribe, and thanks for watching.